Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny content related video on the Rise of Iron expansion. Now, the Festival of the Lost is a cool little event that allows you to get some new items. The only way to really get those items, though, is to do the quest line. So, after you actually go through the quest line for Eva Levante, which is a vendor right over down by the new Monarchy vendor, she's over in this little section here, and she's wearing a Crota mask. If you actually talk to her, she will give you a quest line. Follow the necessary steps. And what you're going to do is if you're missing a mask, yes. she will give you one of the masks for each step, but the other one you'll have to buy from her. To purchase it from her, all you have to do is simply take an empty candy satchel, which is going to be a little item that she'll have right here, and then you will then have to fill that. Filling that will grant you one of the gifts of the lost. If you acquire the gift of the lost, you can notice that you can actually take a full candy satchel and buy one of these masks. These are the three masks that you will have to purchase next to the one that she actually gives you every single step that you complete. Now with this, you will have to complete the heroic, uh, the heroic strikes, you'll have to also collect engrams, you'll have to kill enemies, you'll have to go and do public events, and you will have to also go and dismantle engrams, and you'll also have to do the uh, Court of Oryx. So with all those events done, you will then get to the final step. The final step is going and talking to her for a final time and receiving the Festival of the Lost treasure box. Now right here is the Treasure of the Lost mystery bag. And if we acquire that, we will then be able to get glorious loot coming out of the game thanks to Eva Levante. We'll use one of these, but as of right now, I want to do a full unboxing video of multiple boxes for you all on the channel. So if you want to see that video, make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to the channel today. And if you're already subscribed, thank you all so much for the support. Now we're going to use one of these and see what we get. So as you can see, Treasure of the Lost, we got the Ghost Ghost, the Siva Mask, and we got a Sleepless Gaze and a Whim of Ryul. Now, this is going to be really cool. Um, I wanted to actually really show you guys what all these consumables do. And we got two of the consumables, so we'll be able to show you that later. Now, I actually kind of want to show you the Sleepless Gaze now. So I'll actually use that right now, and we'll see that in just a moment. But next up, we ended up also getting the Siva Mask. The Siva Mask looks fairly decent. I like it. It was actually a pretty cool mask I got to see on a Guardian walking around the tower yesterday. Now, with that, we also got the Ghost Ghost. And the Ghost Ghost, fairly interesting as well. It's literally a ghost, dressed up as a ghost. It's got like a little, I would say, handkerchief around him that your Guardian was carrying in his pocket, decided to cut a hole in it, and the ghost is now wearing it as a costume because he doesn't want to feel left out in the Festival of the Lost. And there you have it, Guardians. That's how you're going to get some of the loot out of this Festival of the Lost Year 3. If you all enjoyed Festival of the Lost 2016, let me know down in the comment section down below. And remember, you can do this quest on all three Guardians. As long as you have three characters, you can get three of these boxes without purchasing microtransactions from the Tess Everest Trading Company. If this video helped you, Guardians, leave a like. Comment down below. Leave questions and concerns. Share it with your friends. And again, Guardians, subscribe for daily Destiny content. And I will see you all starside in the next video.